And in this video, I'm going to show you this logo animation and how I create it. And you can also do it into the options. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's start from creating a new composition. Give the name. Then I set the resolution of this composition is 4K and the frame rate is 60. Duration of this composition is 5 seconds. Click OK. Select text tool, click on the composition and write anything you want to write. But I am writing here question. I know you are thinking that I'm right. Uh, o instead of Q because I'm doing something special at uh, this place. So just stick with me. After this, align it into the center. To do this, just select align horizontally and vertically buttons to align it. After that, just select star tool. If you are unable to find this star tool, just click and hold at this position so you can see. There are lots of different shape builder tools. So select star tool, just deselect this layer, then hold shift and drag to create a perfect star. Okay. After this, go to polyester drop down menus into the polyester path. You can see here is the points which is five right now. We have to change it to three. Now we got triangle. Okay. So I'm just change the anchor point center to bottom and repositioning. I'm changing the color so you can see better. Then I'm rotating a little bit 145 degrees maybe. Then scale down something like this. Yeah. Again, I'm changing the color back to white. Here you can see I create a queue using a triangle and O letter here. You can tweak this and little bit scale down. Okay. This is a, a nice uh, word mark, I guess, which I create into After Effects to animate this. Okay. So next thing we are going to do that uh, we can uh, hide this triangle for now. Just select text layer, right click, go to create create shape from text then rename it to Q and we have uh, one two three four five six seven letters so we have to duplicate six times one two three four five six okay so this is uh, our O letter so just select all letters except O add this layer and delete it so we got only O letter in this layer. We have to repeat the process until we got each letter into separate layers. All right, so I separate all the letters into different shapes. And now each layer have a separate letter. Just select all letters, hold control and double click on pen behind tool to get an anchor point into the center of each letter. Rename this shape layer to triangle time to animate so we start from this o letter which is uh, q so just i solo this o layer click p to reveal the position properties click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe at the first frame go to 30 frames further create one more keyframe at this point now go to the first frame and make sure you check this title action safe area on okay so you know this is the center of our computer you just drag this letter into the center or you can just click align horizontally icon to align it to the center okay now check the preview how it's look like that's nice for now i just drag this keyframe at three seconds because we don't need it now all right now click s on the keyboard to reveal scale properties click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe go to maybe 14 frame and uh, change the scale value to 110 again go to 29th frame or 30 frame then change the scale value to 90 again go further and change the scale value to 100 go to the first frame and change the value of the scale 100 to 0 and now you can see 
uh, we animate our first letter using scale property. Select all the keyframe. Press F9 to make them easy ease. Let's create a smoother animation. Now just select all the keyframe. Hold Alt on the keyboard. Click last keyframe and drag backwards until you will get your desired motion. Okay, I am happy with this animation. I want to animate our triangle. So just click the solo button to reveal this icon. Right. First of all, we have to drag this time indicator to the 5 seconds where the animation end. I forgot link triangle to the queue later. So just uh, select pick pick tool and drag to the queue and release it now our triangle is linked to this letter if i move this letter so triangle follow this letter so now click on the triangle layer then press p on the keyboard to reveal position properties of triangle and again press s on the keyboard to reveal scale properties and make a keyframe now we created two keyframes at this time or at this frame what we're gonna do is just drag backward the time indicator and uh, reposition it like here or maybe something here okay and scale down a bit now drag the time indicator forward again change position a little bit of this triangle go forward into the timeline and copy the second keyframe which is the original position of this triangle and paste it here you can see the animation you can delete the second keyframe at this point okay so that's nice if you have this handle so we have to delete this to avoid unnecessary movements so just press g on the keyboard to select pen tool and when you drag on this point, your pen tool change into converter vertex tool. Okay, so just click here to remove this handle. Select all the keyframe. Press F9 to easy ease. Check RAM preview. I think I have to slow down the animation a little bit. Yeah, that's good. We can also create one more keyframe here. So. So I drag time indicator at third keyframe of the triangle shape and change the position something like this. Okay, that's much better. So here is our final frame preview. All right, now it's time to animate the path of this shape. Click on the search bar and type path. Make a keyframe at this frame. Create one more keyframe at this frame. We have to change the shape of this letter at this position. You can also create uh, another, a point. I'm trying to match the perfect motion. We tweak the path. The main thing is you have to satisfy it with your animation. That's it. I'm trying to match the perfect motion. To do this, I am selecting this keyframe, go to graph editor and I decided to change the graph editor something like this to get a perfect motion. Alright, so you can see uh, we create bouncy animation of this O letter so i'm satisfied with this all right so our first part is almost complete press u to reveal all the keyframes of this layer now it's time to get back our position keyframes here to ramp preview it once more yeah okay so select position keyframe and press f9 to easy is and this is a uh, speed graph by the way just select those handle and um drag something like this we can extend this to change the duration of lighting animation 
Prime preview is the most important thing into the After Effects because it will help you to understand the motion and overall animation. Now it's time to animate our other letters. Just uh, unsolo this layer. Select the rest of letters. Change the colors of the layers so you can recognize it better. Drag it from here or maybe here. Press P to reveal position properties of all the layers and make a keyframe. Go to one or the one and a half seconds further and uh, create another keyframe here. Again, get back to the first keyframe and just move it to the right. Something like this. After that, uh, select all the keyframe and press F9 to easy. Go to graph editor, select this point and drag this handle. Check ramp preview. That's nice. After that, uh, press T on the keyboard to reveal opacity values of all the layers except triangle and Q. Then make a keyframe. Then press U. To reveal all the keyframes then go to the second keyframes and drag the time indicator little bit backward and uh, again generate keyframe here go to the first frame and change the opacity value 100 to 0 check RAM preview that's nice after that arrange the layers something like this Check the RAM preview. Nice. Alright, so thanks for watching this video and let me know in the comment box if you have any question. I will definitely reply you as soon as possible. So again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.